Hey guys, I'm Chal Posadas and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna share with you the proof of ongoing relationship that you should submit to the USCIS, how many evidences that you have to provide, and today I'm gonna show you the original submission that we did when we filed our K-1 visa packet. And disclaimer lang guys ha, uh, this is case-to-case -case basis and whatever I'm gonna share with you or show you are all based on my personal experience and knowledge. Alright, so let's begin. How many proof of ongoing relationship should you submit to USAIS? Well, it is as many photos or materials as possible as long as it is convincing, it is relevant and valuable, and that would uh, tell a story, an event, and timeline of your relationship as an engaged couple. Always remember guys that do not focus on the numbers or quantity, focus more on the quality of the photos or materials that you're gonna provide, okay? Now I'm gonna show you the original submission that we did when we filed our I-129F petition. Number one proof of ongoing relationship is your photos together and with your families and friends. I have a previous video of my scrapbook so let's do the same thing that I did and make sure that you put the date, the place, the name of the persons in the picture and a brief caption or story behind that photo. How many photos should you submit? Well for me uh, personally I think um, 15 to 20 photos are enough as long as they are valuable and convincing and I would suggest that put um, a lot of pictures together with friends, with families, um, not only just the two of you, you know, because um, maganda yun na nakikita nila na um, both sides of your friends or family kilala kayo and you get along. Next is proof of travel, passport stamps, hotel receipts, uh, movie tickets, and restaurant receipts. So I have a copy of his passport stamps when he visited me in the Philippines way back in 2018 and 2019. His boarding passes. His Expedia ticket or itinerary. We also have the receipts of the restaurants uh, that we went to. And movie tickets. Because our first meeting was in Mall of Asia. That was our first date. So we gathered all the receipts um, during the time that he visited me in the Philippines. Love letters, cards, a gift or packages that your fiancé sent you. So I have the email or the invoice of island rose because he used to send me flowers and gifts in the office so nagprint din ako noon the cards yeah scan copy lang ng cards and love letters here yeah yung mga <laughs> love letters you know and photocopy lang siya guys no need to submit the original copy chat logs call logs and video call screenshots so i have our skype chat and call logs from 2018 and 2019 so in, in screenshot ko lang nakita yung date and gaano katagal yung usually na um, tawag nyo sa isa't isa. So, much better na hanapin nyo yung mga call logs nyo na matatagal. Like, um, mga one hour or two hours. Yun, ma much better yun. And, we also have the Viber call logs. So, from 2018 to 2019. Ini-screenshot ko lang din. Ayan. And, our video call screenshots. 
So, ayan. Yung screenshot ko lang din. Hmm. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Kitang-kita yung mukha mo sa video. <laughs> And take note, guys. Don't include um, private or intimate conversations, ha? As much as possible, choose the sweetest messages or conversation that you talk about your wedding plans, your marriage, or future together. And if you also have uh, conversations with your fiancés, uh, family, or friends, uh, include a couple of conversations or screenshot of that conversation. Para makita rin ng USCIS na they personally knew or the people around you personally knew about your relationship. We also have some Facebook posts. So, nung day na nag-propose siya sa akin. And some photos together with his family. Much better, guys, to provide a lot of photos and materials together with your family and friends. You know, so that the USCIS um, can see that... Uh, your family and friends personally knew or witnessed your relationship and that your relationship is truly genuine. We also have our engagement ring receipt yeah, from Zales. It is optional actually, but I just felt like I want to include that to our K-1 visa packet. And if you also have wedding plans or arrangements, you can also include that to your K-1 visa packet. And that's it guys. Those are the proof of ongoing relationship that you can provide to the USCIS. Again guys, uh, make sure that those photos or materials are all convincing and has a value on it, has a story and timeline of your relationship and make sure that you focus more on the quality and not numbers or quantity okay guys so i hope you find this video helpful and if you have any questions just comment down below and i'll try my best to answer as soon as possible okay guys that's it and have a good day bye